I, I want you to imagine, if you can, a very heavy toddler. And I make no judgment about the weight of the toddler. I'm merely describing the, the weight of the toddler, a very heavy toddler, who is a little bit um, stubborn and is sitting in the aisle of your local supermarket, smearing himself with yoghurt and uh, furiously resisting any attempt by his mother to move him along. Now, he's so heavy and so covered in yoghurt and so stubborn that the poor mother, who is of a relatively delicate build and disposition, the poor mother hasn't got a clue how to shift this lump of humanity, this yoghurt-smeared lump of humanity from the supermarket aisle. And a small crowd is gathering. That's us, by the way, if you haven't worked out what this analogy is yet. We are the small crowd. A small crowd is gathering in the supermarket, looking on with a sense of wonder and perhaps for some people a degree of disgust because there's a lot of yoghurt and there's a lot of smearing going on and wondering how the hell this poor woman is ever going to get this lump of yoghurt smeared humanity out of the supermarket aisle so that normal business can be resumed and the rest of us can get on with the important business of shopping. If you haven't worked it out yet, the mewling, yoghurt-smeared, excessively heavy toddler is Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister of these islands, for now. And the delicate, dismayed mother, failing miserably to move him even a single inch from his place in the supermarket aisle, is the Conservative Party. And the small crowd that is gathering to, to witness this horror show of parental nightmare. Well, that's you and me today. And, and that is really probably how today's show is going to take shape. We're, we're going to have a little chat with each other about the, the, the sight in front of us, the, the, the screaming yoghurt smeared toddler refusing to move, insisting even that he's not a yoghurt smeared toddler, but he's in fact the king of the world. And therefore nobody can tell him to move from this supermarket aisle, regardless of how much evidence has been gathered that nobody really wants him to be there at all. Least of all his mother who we're also going to talk about. What on earth can she do to get rid of this yoghurt-smeared lump of humanity that is holding up business for pretty much everybody else in the supermarket? Um, I, the phone lines are open, if you can make head nor tail of the words that have come out of my mouth thus far. 